All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the cinematic black bars on your videos. Right, so the next thing you want to do is import your footage and do all the changes that you want to do to it whether it's slowing it down changing the color and i've done all of that already so when you look at the screen now just imagine everything's done and you're just adding that final piece just to top it up as you can see i've got three clips here and they are all very basic i've managed to slow them down because i recorded them at 100 frames per second slowed it down by 25 percent, and it looks really really cool so what i'm going to do now i'm simply just going to add an effect called letterbox so I'm gonna to go to my effects over here I'm gonna filter it out by typing letterbox letter and you can see it's come here so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna click and drag all of this onto my footage and as you can see the footage window will change so you can see they've got this these black bars at the top and at the bottom but if you go over to aspect ratio you'll be able to see you've got the option of 2.35 1 and if we click on that the bars get a bit bigger and already you can see if we go from looking at the video from this or that, this one obviously is going to look a lot more cinematic because of those two black bars. However, whenever you do this, you need to ensure when you're recording that you leave room for error. So make sure you're not too close or the video is not recording the bottom half or something. Because if that does happen and you try and put these bars on, you're going to be left in a position where you might be cropping off someone's head, if, unless, unless that's the style you want, obviously. But you might be cropping off someone's head or you might not be able to use this effect to the best that you can simply because you haven't framed your video correctly so that's really really important so yeah let's apply that to the others so same thing click and drag and you can see here i've applied it to this and if i change the aspect ratio to 2.351 again it's giving me that nice cinematic look so that way when i hit the play button i'll just wait for it to render first So yeah, now let's give it a little play from the beginning. So let's put it there and press play. And you can see here, it's, it's added a nice cinematic effect to it. So you're kind of thinking what's going on here, what's what's happening. And if I take both of them off, take the letterbox off, take the letterbox off that as well and press play, you can see straight away that there's a massive, massive difference. It looks just like a basic video, but simply popping a letterbox effect on it on the top there, you can see it goes from looking very, very plain to something more cinematic. However, I'm also gonna give an option for those of you, this is an option that I use, obviously, as you can see, I have the option of the letterbox effect, but if you don't, you can simply punch over to Google so as you can see, I've loaded up Google here and I've typed in PNG black bars. And what that has given me, is giving me the cinematic black bars that I already have in Final Cut. But again, this is a method if you don't have Final Cut. Very important at the bottom here is to look at the resolution of the image. And with where it's a PNG, it's gonna be transparent. So you're gonna put it on top of your footage as a layer and your video will show in the middle here where the little boxes are. So yeah, let's right click that save that to where you want to save it so as you can see here the reason why i haven't done the last one is for that reason itself so let's get rid of that we don't need that effect because we're going to use this and if i drag this on top of my footage straight away there let's just crop that to make sure it's all in line you can see i have got the matching footage it is a bit different slightly in size but again if you're going to use this this one you're not going to mix and match with the other but you can see straight away it does the same thing so let's just wait for that to render and now if I press play, you can see we've got the same sort of cinematic effect and there's not really a difference between what I have got here and obviously the effect that Final Cut has. So again, that is just an option for those of you that use an editing software that doesn't have a built-in letterbox effect. So yes guys, that's the video. It's a very, very simple addition to add to your footage and I guarantee you it will look 10 times better, maybe 10 um, exaggeration. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.